<laughs> okay, so today I'm going to show you how I do puppy um, spray up bands. Um, first, just kind of a trick that I do to help keep the ear out of the top knot is I will part at the top of the ear and get his ear separated here. So then when I have the ear, I'm just going to take the wrapping band and you can use, you know, vet wrap and stuff like that. I, my experience with vet wrap is it gets sticky. Um, so I will take just the wrapping band and put it around once. I don't wrap it tight. It's not tight at all. This is literally just to kind of contain the hair down. Um, it's loose. It's not uncomfortable. Um, so that kind of helps keep the separation there. Um, so then for the front, you want little little top knot bands um, for the for the spray up. Um, I use white for the back and black for the front. Um, and you know you'll see as I put in the different colors, but um, you know it depends on the color of the dog. If it was a black dog, then I would put white in the front and black in the back, um, so on and so forth. So first, I will separate out what's going to be the bubble. And pardon this, um, someone was overzealous in their shaving, so that's growing back. So I will take from the corner of the eye to the corner of the eye. So from here, straight over to the other corner of the other eye. And it doesn't have to be, um, you know, I'm not putting it up nice yet. I show that for the end. And when the band breaks, you have to get another one. So I just basically get this out of my way. So then I will part out. I, I do very small sections. Um, the smaller, the more natural it will look when it's sprayed up. So you want to part it as straight as you can so that it's not uncomfortable. And just straight across. So then once I have that parted out, if you're doing it by yourself, you can take a comb and hold that back. So then I will take my band. You wanna make sure the hair is straight there. And you want the top knot to be coming forward. It's harder when you don't have um, wigs in. A lot of people will use wigs. I personally don't, so this is how you do it without wigs. Um, so coming forward, and you're going to put that band in in a forward direction so it helps keep that. It doesn't have to be super tight. You don't want it to pull their eyes, so you make sure you're not pulling their eyes. So once you have the first section, then what I like to do on the puppies um, to keep it more natural is I will take another section, just a very thin, it's not wide at all, um, and I will leave that forward loose. So then I'll take another section And always trying to make sure that it's as, as straight as you can without little hairs going one way or the other. So then I will take this section, and again, it's not wide at all, and I'll put that in a band. Still pulling it forward. And again, it doesn't have to be pulling super tight. You don't want it super loose either, but and see how that let, wants to lay forward. So when you spray that up, that's gonna give it that forward um, framing the face. So then again, I'm gonna take another little tiny section. And the 
this is gonna be my leave out section. And then my next section will be the pull up. Not wide at all, just narrow little sections. The maid is vacuuming upstairs. <laughs> Sorry. I'm still doing this in a forward. All the bands should always be coming forward. Okay, and I'm always feeling here's this occiput. So we have, you can only band to the occiput or you're only supposed to band to the occiput. my leave out And here is my tie up. And even when I'm banding everything, I still do these really small sections because like I said, it, it really looks more natural. It doesn't create such a mohawk look when you're tying it up. And of course, this is just how we band for spray ups for the, for the shows. This isn't how I would leave him on a daily basis. These get cut out as soon as he gets out of the ring. These are too, even though they're not super tight, they're still too tight to leave him. It would be uncomfortable. Okay, still feeling for the occiput, so probably do one more. Okay, so now that we have those in, then we're gonna come back up and we're gonna do the bubble. So we'll take this band back out. Now how I do the bubble, and it's gonna be a little harder because of the loose Hair here, I'll have to hairspray that later. Um, when you do have that, you can also hairspray it first and then hold it back. His is just at that awkward length where that's not gonna work. <laughs> so. For this, we want this back, so I'll come back to the other side. And you don't want this in super tight because you want to be able to pull your bubble. So Max wrap that three times. I mean, unless they don't have as much hair, he does have a lovely coat. So I will grab this back part because I want to hold the hair back. 
and then I'll come to the front and I grab about the, this corner of the eye and this corner of the eye and I pull it forward. So then when you let it loose, then you have a nice bubble and with hairspray, it'll sit nicer. So now that I have that set, then I can tighten it back down. Then to tie it into the second one here to keep it back, I take the front third of this one pull it forward into this. So now, before I get them up, I will take my hands under the bubble to cover the eyes, spray to try to get those little, little bits up out of the way.